Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. So, now that we've taken care of basically everything that we can and or need to take care of, um, I guess it's about time that we just walk out of the TV. This is one of the few times that we don't actually get taken out of the TV by a story event, like beating a boss or something. We just quit exploring, and we are even getting told that yes, once we, no matter when you leave the TV, it will become night when you leave. We're finding that out this late in the game, I guess. These things happen sometimes. Dad's late. Did he forget his keys? I wonder. It was the delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. Oh, not Dad? Hello. This is the Dojima residence. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh-huh. All right. It's okay. I know it's your job. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Big bro's with me, so... Okay. Goodbye. Is he working late again? Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. Oh, wow. Well, I'm here, so it's but okay. But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. Exactly. <sighs> it's cold today, too. Can we get out the kotatsu? Want to bring out the kotatsu? You have no idea how much I want to bring out the kotatsu, Nanako. Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. Okay, let's do it. That'll make it nice and warm. Ah, the Kotatsu. Okay, I'm turning it on. Huh? What? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. Oh, darn. We could try to fix it or something, maybe? You know what? Let's go all out. Let's make sure the next one we get doesn't break. Huh? We can buy one? At you, Ness? Probably. Yay! <laughs> when you have some time, let's go to you, Ness. Alright, well, we can't go tonight, so we'll just have to... We'll have to suffer tonight. Oh, well. It's been raining a lot, though. High time that we take a look at the Midnight Channel. I didn't recognize that person at all. Hey, did you see that? Yeah, but what was it? It was really blurry, but you saw someone on the screen, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Damn it. Is there gonna be another kidnapping? Let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow. Yeah, maybe someone figured out who that was. The one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions. But maybe someone has an idea of who it might be. We definitely need to talk. Just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school. Will do. <sighs> well, this is going to be harder, considering, at least in the past, I've had an idea of who it was based on the image, but this time... I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. And yet, I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? From a fuzzy picture like that? No way. No good, huh? How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? I don't think so. Hmm, I can't think of any offhand. 
I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. That's true, I remember that. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Yeah, just like a politician, huh? Hmm. Huh, what's the matter? Oh yeah, they stuck you at the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Nanako-chan and I'm serious about living! Huh? From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? I don't know, it was hard to tell perspective. I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream, or your imagination. Either way though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Great. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. I think this is a first, where we have no ideas at all. <gasps> hey, I'm back. Hey. Welcome back. Dad, the kotatsu is broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. <laughs> really? Okay. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... Uh-oh. Is this not often we get letters with no return address on them so I was right be straight with me you're involved in the case aren't you what do you mean by involved what are you up to <sighs> Will he even listen to the truth? I, I can't lie to him though. I'd, I'd feel wrong. Okay, well. If there's someone that I can trust to listen to the truth, it, it's Dojima. So you're not going to be honest with me. <sighs> I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. What I told you was the truth, Dojima. I will have the truth from you today. Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else. But I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good, got that? <laughs> it's all right, we're, we're not fighting. It's okay, Nanako, don't worry. We'll be right back, so don't wait up for us to get to bed, okay? It'll be okay, Nanako, don't worry. We'll be back soon. Okay, I'll be waiting. Hopefully Yosuke and everybody watch the Midnight Channel for me. Uh, 
I'll hold on to this. Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? You didn't believe me last time, why should I tell him again? Are you making fun of me? Don't think you're gonna lie your way out of this one. What do you want to hear then? It's obvious you don't want to hear the truth, I already told you the truth. <sighs> Try again, I guess. Persona? People going inside a TV? <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. Enough! That's enough! I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. That hurts, Dojima. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. It's a shame. Stay here for the night. Whoa, sorry. Dang. Tell me about it. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame them. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you, too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. I think he does, too. I just wish he would listen to me a bit more, you know? That'd be nice. So, yeah, don't take it so hard. Oh yeah, no, I'm only spending the night in a police station. Possibly under arrest. I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on to me, actually. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. Are the higher-ups okay with that? That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. Yeah. Well, thanks, Adachi. I feel a little bit better, at least. All right. I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Uh, why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. <laughs> and you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age. Wow, Yosuke. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kids model, though. <sighs> Thank you, Yosuke. So to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was going to remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? Something like that, Yosuke, something like that. Uh, I want to go to Nana-chan's place. I promised to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. 
Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. I'm glad I have such good friends. Hang on a sec, I'll try calling again. He's still not picking up. Oh, duh, I forgot to try his home line. Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. Oh, thank you, Nanako. Thank you for telling him. He took Big Pro to the police station. Wait, wait, wait what? He got taken to the police station? Stop blabbering and let me talk, too! Good evening. <laughs> this is your Teddy speaking. Let's get together and eat snacks again. Weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait. Was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? That's about the size of it, Yosuke. Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Oh, things are mobilizing well. Okay, thank you. Good job, Nanako. I could probably watch the Midnight Channel here, couldn't I? 